All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM. Joining you as usual from a sunny San Diego. And today I am delighted to be joined by Jim Matuga, who is over on the other coast in West Virginia, in uh, Morganstown, West Virginia. How are you doing, Jim? Yeah, great, John. Uh, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful part of the world, too. All the West Virginia, West Virginia, all of that. Yes. Maybe living, lived in Virginia for a while. Almost almost heaven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Jim, you're the president and founder of Interaction Media, award-winning marketing and branding agency. Uh, and in 2023, you launched StoryMaker, StoryMaker, an easy-to-use SaaS application software platform that uses at its core interaction media's proprietary story maker process and harnesses the power of generative AI to create custom marketing messages for small businesses, nonprofits. You're the author of Marketing Matters and the host of Positively WV, PositivelyWV.com. Yeah, Positively and West Virginia. Yeah. Positively West Virginia, indeed. And what we're going to talk about today is AI and marketing. Um, so just give me, give me the, give me the background to to StoryMaker, uh, yeah. because you know there's been lots of products being people have been bringing out and they're getting overloaded with them. Just give me the background to StoryMaker. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I appreciate the opportunity to tell the story. Yeah. You know, we uh, back in 2022, I was really interested in. Uh, trying to create a piece of software that could help automate some of the processes, the story process that we that we use, and I was, uh, you know, just kind of contemplating how can I do that. And then I was invited to be a part of an initiative at West Virginia University. You know, we're a Big Twelve uh, college here, yep. uni University in Morgantown, to be a part of a software, a SaaS application initiative where we were going to stand up. 10 SaaS applications in 10 weeks. Wow. And it was amazing because I got that call at the end of November. And of course, uh, uh, like two days after I got the call, ChatGPT launched mm -hmm. from OpenAI. And it, I was like, this is the perfect storm. I've got this opportunity to create a piece of software at a major land grant university, and they're going to fund the project. I have this idea of taking our story process, combining it with generative AI, ChatGPT at the time. And Wow, mate, let's try this. And so in January, it took about uh, we January 2023. We, we took about uh, eight weeks, and I had a product that was a what we called a minimally viable software yep. application. And the first time, John, that I pushed a button that said "Make my story," and it took the database that we had created based on my company, and within about 15 seconds, created a 30 second pitch. Uh -huh. I, I was like blown away and there was about 40 people on this zoom call and we, everybody was like, what just happened? That was amazing. And so we knew we had something. And so fast forward, May 1st, 2023, we launched story maker out into the world. We, we got, it was kind of the first of its kind product right. honestly, uh, in the space. Uh, unfortunately I didn't have massive funding behind me. So we kind of did this on a shoestring budget mm -hmm. and here we are today, you know, in August, 2024, a year and a couple months later, and we are selling, uh, subscriptions all across the country. And uh, that's really cool, you know, to, to yeah. be able to take something that can help so many people. And, and, uh, but I want to also tell you, you know, what the problem I was solving for, cause I, mm -hmm. I'm a big believer in entrepreneurs need to, you know, fall in love with the problem. Right. You know, too often times we want to fall in love with our solution, not right, realizing right. what the real problem is. No, but, no, that's a good, good distinction for people to make. Yeah, absolutely. So what the problem that I fell in love with, John, was I come in contact with hundreds of businesses e each and every year. And I've been doing this since 1988. This is mm -hmm. my, my career. And most of them fail to tell great marketing mm -hmm. stories, their 30 yeah. second pitch, their, you know, how to write a sales email. They just, they fail to do it. They, and it's just so cumbersome and hard. And, and that's what we're, what I fell in love with. And I said, look, if we can help the masses, right, we can help all the small, small mom and pop shops, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the entrepreneur, the solopreneur, the, the nonprofits sometimes that struggle with their budget. And we could bring a cost effective solution to help them create sales emails. Yeah. Right. Uh, blog posts, uh, social media content, all based on their business. 
in their own personal brand without having to create custom prompts and all this kind of stuff. And that's what we did. And that's the essence of Storymaker. Yeah. So how does how does Storymaker do that? I mean, where does it what's the what's the uh, the data the secret that, sauce? Yeah, that's the database <laughs> that it pulls off of. Yes. So we created uh, it, you know through the SaaS application. It's all cloud based, mm -hmm. all very secure. We create a, a series of databases. So one mm. is your company profile. So you, right. it, it prompts you through different questions. You know, how long have you been in business? What's the problem that you solve for your customer? You know, how do you serve them? And all these different types of questions that part, part of our story process. And then we have product or services also. So you can, mm -hmm. you could have infinite amounts of different things. If you're a, if you're a, a auto repair shop, you could have you know, your, your brake service, your muffler service, your oil changes, sure. and you can create content around that. And then it's all drop down menus. So you say, okay, I want to create a, you know, a, a, uh, a blog post for interaction media. I can click that. I put in a couple of keywords and hit make my story. I can give it a, um, a prompt of, you know, your, uh, we've curated about 20 different tones of voice mm -hmm. and you can right. also create a custom tone of voice. So if you want to have something that's trustworthy or something that's friendly or, you know, even humorous, it'll do that. And then it sends the, the prompt to chat GPT for you. We send, that's part of our software is mm -hmm. we create the custom prompt. It's going to, you know, right. fire back the res result. So you don't have to think about it. A couple of drop down menus, you hit make my story and then it filters it back through our story process. You know, the hero of the story is not you, it's your customer. You're the guide in the process, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, we tell that story framework through the lens of your business mm -hmm. and the content that we, you know, that we get back is, is amazing. So those are the two databases, the business and then the product services. And then, yeah, and everything. Just, yeah, just every, just on yeah. that, what you just mentioned there is when you're selecting all of these things. So what you're really doing is you can kind of you really create your company personality within the product, right? So whatever yeah. comes back to you, because like you said, maybe you're one of these fun and wacky companies, and humor is great. Maybe you're a much more serious and yeah, and exactly. somber, and that's what people want. But it allows you to rep to recreate your personality in this. Absolutely, and through machine learning, it's learning yeah. your style as well. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. And the other database that we've built in, John, is a, a story archive. So mm -hmm. as you know, on ChatGPT, you know it's just this running log of, yep. you know, just content. Well, we archive every story that you create okay. and you can, you can delete it. You can edit it. It's like a word document. And so it's, it's kind of neat. I, just to give you an example of a little story, we have a, uh, a uh, structural engineering company, they're a five person firm and they have a virtual assistant that does all their social media. Mm -hmm. Well, when she's in there creating content and then she decides to leave the company and they have to fill that position, all the content's there. They just have a username, a login, and the next person that comes in has access to everything. Mm -hmm. No recreation of the wheel. It's all there. It's archived and it's uh, pretty seamless integration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the other things you mentioned there is about the prompts, you know, that's what you're able to do is create, because I think that's what people are kind of discovering now that, that writing good prompts is not as easy as they thought it was at the beginning. I know people are always handing out prompt cheat sheets or whatever, but the, but the, the prompt is so critical to AI, right? Yes, absolutely. And that's, what's cool about story makers. You don't really have to think much about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you just, if you, you know, say for instance, the sales email, we're talking about sales pop, right. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, really uh, bringing uh, value to your audiences, you know, and I, and I love the, I love the, uh, the tagline pur purveyors of prosperity. My mm -hmm. wife and I's word of the year this year is prosper. So oh, I good. can relate to that. So the, the cool thing about it is, you know, you're wanting to write a sales email. you got this lead. Maybe you, maybe you met somebody at a networking event. Mm -hmm. You got their business card. What do I say to them? You just put a couple of words in there, a couple of keywords, maybe give it a, a little instruction. You put the person's name that you're sending it to and it'll format it perfectly. The same thing works for, you know, when you have a, a CRM yep. like Pipeliner, right? Mm -hmm. And and you're you're trying to create a, a, a message for your list, you can use the same thing and, and be able to create really meaningful content. And it doesn't sound like it's written by chat GPT 4.0. I mean, that's right. what we're using, but it's it's more involved with that because we're using our story framework. Yeah. So these are really, I mean, these are really giving like uh, all, all businesses, but especially small businesses, these are great equalizers, aren't they? Great demo democratization tools, if you like, because yeah. I mean, once upon a time, 
I'd have to pay some marketing agency a, a ton of money. And if I'm a small business, I'm not going to do that, right? I'm just going to struggle by or have yeah. somebody. Or, but now with a product like yours, now I can really, I can really compete on, almost on a level playing field. Yeah, it, it, you hit the nail on the head, man. It's, it's, you know, it, that's exactly it. For fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents, you have access to really writing great content, um, and it, and that's that's the beauty of it. Like I said, that's the problem I was solving for is I wanted to help more people, right? Mm -hmm. Scale it because you know I own a marketing agency, Interaction Media is a marketing yep. agency. We have tons of clients, and they all pay us five to ten thousand dollars a month to do this, right? But the average mm -hmm. person that's out there, maybe struggling a little bit, or startup, or maybe even they're they're thinking about you know their side hustle and how yeah. do they how do they ramp their side hustle up? Fifteen ninety nine a month, you've got a very valuable tool. No, absolutely. And what what are some of the uh, what are some of the the great uh, success stories that you've heard so far from customers? Yeah, so one of my favorites is uh, a young lady by the name of Caitlin Furby. She's a an owner of a company called Remarkable Interiors, and she. You know, she's a she's an interior designer. She's not a writer, but she mm -hmm. knows she has to put content out there. So she's able to use StoryMaker to create emails. She's able to use it to write a blog post for her company when she doesn't necessarily have time. She wants to be designing and meeting with clients. She's not mm -hmm. really a marketer, but she knows she has to be. You know, that's a great one. Yeah. Another another good one is a guy named Nick De Medici. He owns a restaurant called Nono Carlo, and they are a uh, you know just a one a one-stop uh, Italian market in Delhi and a right. awesome restaurant. Same thing. When he's trying to write content, he's out there, he's got to hire people. He's got to make pizzas. He's got a stock inventory. He, who has time to write a social media post, but he can do it on the fly. Mm -hmm. When he has a, f a, few, a few minutes, he gets on StoryMaker, clicks a few buttons, and voila, you've got your content. Where does the product go from here? Because I'm sure you've got some great ideas about what you'd like <laughs> to do. <laughs> well, you know, uh, that's to be to be told. You know, I don't know the exact uh, outcome of where this is going. I know that we're on a journey. Mm -hmm. uh, I will I will say, John, that um, you know, as an agency owner, a lot of people in the marketing space are talking about how do we use AI. Well, mm -hmm. what's having a software application that we stood up, you know, almost a year and a half ago, yeah. that gives us a lot of credibility out in the market. So people are saying, Hey, Jim, you're not just using you AI, you've created an AI application. You, you must be the get the, the go-to guy. You know, right, I, right, right. I, I think about this time last year, I was like every, every lions club and rotary club and, you know, chamber of commerce event, they were asking me to come and speak about you know, AI is the marketing expert for AI. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I'm not really an AI expert, but I guess I am because nobody else mm -hmm. knows what's going on. This, I mean, mm -hmm. think about it a year ago, yeah. this is all, this is all very new, you know, still. So it's been given, it's been great in giving us a, a, um, almost a differentiator, if you will, yeah. you know, like a, Hey, we're embracing it. We use, we use StoryMaker for every one of our clients. Right, I use, right. I've used StoryMaker probably three or four times today myself. Yeah. yeah, and and so um and so what do you what do you think that a lot of um you basically businesses and marketing and agencies and all of that why are a lot of them struggling with that because I feel like some of them are struggling with AI they don't really know how to how to use it or how to best leverage it mm -hmm. or they're they've got very traditional kind of structures or ways of working and this is kind of disrupting everything. Yeah, I, that's a great uh, great point and. Uh, my thought is this, and this is every time I speak to a group, like I mentioned, I try to say, look, embrace it. Mm -hmm. You know, don't fight it. Embrace it. Get in there. Get your hands dirty. Try some things. Even if you're using AI as a, an idea generator, right? Yeah. Just to get, get the ball rolling, get the wheels cranking. That's a great use for AI, you know, especially generative AI and marketing mm -hmm. with regard to content and text. I think it's an amazing tool. Uh, now, there's there's a lot of it that is, you know, can be used for nefarious reasons. Sure. I'm saying, you know, harness it for good. Try to, you know, embrace it. Uh, I, you know, you probably heard the the analogy back to, the, you know, when the internet was first coming on. I worked in the newspaper business, right. okay, years ago, and I remember, you know, having reporters saying to me you know, cause I was, I was pushing for technology and in, in the internet and they would come up to me and say, do you think somebody's actually going to want to read their news on their computer? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're nuts. And I would say, well, I would say that they're probably going to be right. You know, reading the news on their phones at some point, mm -hmm. and, you know, that was way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you're nuts, dude. You know? And so I, I think that's kind of the same mindset you have to embrace is like, mm -hmm. and you know, just, 
bring it in, welcome it, experiment with it. Don't be afraid of it. Yeah. And I think the other thing, too, is to look at it from a maybe take a different perspective on it and say, now this is this is going to take away a lot of the busy work, a lot of the routine, the mundane work, maybe a lot of the work that I'm not very good at to begin with, allowing me then to focus on, <laughs> yes. on high value activities. And to be honest, allow me to focus on things that I'm good at. Yes, you you nailed it, man. And I also think like even, you know, aside from Storymaker, which is what I know best mm -hmm. because I created it, but uh, other generative AI things and like, um, you know, we're using Otter AI when we have a meeting oh, yeah, and yeah. it just transcribes the meeting, spits out, you know, uh, uh, calls to action and action items. It takes the minutes for a meet. I mean, it's incredible. Like who mm -hmm. wants to do that? Right. Yep. And uh, so just, just using these tools, it speeds up the process. It makes us more you know, like you said, enables us to focus on the things that we really want to do and are really good at. Yeah. And I think if you do that, you'll discover that because I'm always hearing from people like, oh, I'm the busiest I've ever been in my life. You know, everybody's been. And I'm always saying, yeah, but are you really, though? Come on. Is it that you're more distracted than you've ever been? These things actually give you the opportunity to create some space and for high value activities. And that's why I think embracing them is, uh, as you said, is the correct uh, is the correct thing to do. Um, video has also become a major, you know, video is so critical, obviously, to marketing nowadays. And yes, there's sir. some video AI, too. So tell me a little bit yeah. about, about video. Video. Yeah, we, um, my agency, Interaction Media, is a, that's what we're known for. Mm -hmm. We're known for telling great stories through video. And right. so that's kind of the birth of Storymaker. But, but we, I've got um, six full time video producers on my team, and they're wonderful storytellers. You know, they're way better at it than me. OK, mm -hmm. and I just, you know, they're award winning. They win, won tellies and Emmys and everything. And, and I think that, you know, AI tools. Now there's some really cool stuff that's coming out, mm -hmm. you know, with, um, you know, AI generated voiceovers. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That that's kind of wild. We're experimenting with that. Like again, embracing it. I tell my team, mm -hmm. they're like, isn't this scary? I'm like, no, do it, mm -hmm. try it, you know, experiment with it. You know, some of the, um, animation, uh, animation and, uh, CGI stuff that's coming out is really good. Uh, we still prefer to do it the old fashioned way with a, with a camera, high quality mm -hmm. camera going out in there and the, you know, in the, in the environments and, and capturing footage and, and, and things like that. But all that's going to be changing too, you know, and I, I think that we have to keep an open mind to it. Uh, and, you know, obviously I, I love video, you know, that's mm -hmm. my thing. I, I, I've been a, a, a a, a big advocate for video for a long time. And I just think that you can, you can really capture something. You know, I, I, I'm a big believer that a lot of people communicate, but few connect, Yeah, good especially, point. especially in marketing. And I think video is a great way to connect. Yeah, with no, a absolutely. No, no, absolutely. And, um, and yeah, I've been using um, uh, AI voiceover for a while now, actually, for, <laughs> I think probably whatever for a year and a half. And I'm telling you, even in a year and a half, when it first started, when I first started using it, it was okay. You could still kind of, if you listen, you could still go, yeah, I can still yeah. feel a little bit of robotic or whatever coming off it. Now, if you, it, it, once you know how to use the tools, you can do it. Nobody could ever tell the difference. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I'm, I'm not the one pushing the buttons, but yeah. you know, my producers and stuff, the ones that are using it, they're like, hey, what do you think of this? This is AI. I'm like, I could never tell, <laughs> you know, it's amazing. So yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of neat. And, uh, very but exciting I, time. Yeah, really. but I think like anything else, it's it's uh, it's it's great in the hands of people who know how to use it or That's know great. how to be creative. And one thing I guess is obviously core to your whole organization is that whole storytelling element. Just anyway, your know, story, yes. the 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 power of storytelling. So just in 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 closing, just tell me about like we all come from storytelling traditions and. And it's something that's really innate in everybody, but people don't people don't embrace it or use it as much as they should. Like the yeah. whole notion just of storytelling. Absolutely, yeah. There's there's power in that, right? You you hear a good story and you're drawn in. You want to know more, and that's to me is the essence of marketing is is connecting. Like I said, not just communicating. Mm -hmm. Where the where the recipient of that message says, "Tell me more." Yeah tell me more. I want to know more. And so once you can, once you can do that, then you've got them. And then it's not manipulation. That's just the power of mm -hmm. telling a great story. We work a lot in healthcare and telling a great testimonial, like from a oh. patient that was suffering. And then the, you know, this, they, uh, the guide in the process is a physician or a surgeon. And then the outcome, it just delivered this completely 
different outcome for their life and change the course of their in their trajectory of their of their the rest of their life. That's that's huge. And when you yeah. can do that, there's a magic to it that just man, you just feel it. Yeah, I know because then you bring so much, uh, you know, bring so much solace to other people when you do things like that. Because let's face it, there's a lot of people who've had bad health experiences and they're all over the internet ready to tell you about it. The people <laughs> who've had good ones <laughs> rarely remember to do that. Yeah, we're we're very fortunate here. Uh, you know, we're in the heart of uh, Mountaineer Country, we call it West Virginia University mm -hmm. and WVU Medicine. They're a great client of ours, and we get a chance to do that uh, every every week for them. So that's oh, really wow. cool too. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Well, listen, thanks again, Jim. This has been fantastic. All of Jim's information will be below this video. But before we go, please do tell people a little bit more about you and what your company does. Yeah. Again, my co company's Interaction Media. Uh, we're a marketing agency and technology company. And we've developed Storymaker, the SaaS application that helps small businesses and entrepreneurs and even nonprofits tell great great marketing stories. And uh, the be best thing I could say is, you know, just... Uh, for people out there in sales and marketing, uh, you know, use the tools that you have, you know, mm -hmm. God's blessed us all with great talents and abilities. Go out there and help somebody. Yeah. Now, great message. Thank you, Jim. Uh, thanks again for today. Thank you for watching, listening. See you all again very soon.